One of the most common things that we hear from patients or potential patients is, I have this chronic pain, but my MRI or every x-ray, every imaging study that I've had is normal. What's going on? Would you agree? Yeah, no, it's, it's common. Yeah. yeah. And what, what we often see when those patients come to our office and we do an evaluation is even though their MRI may be normal, we actually can pick up on joint instabilities and ligament laxities with ultrasound evaluation. So MRIs, of course, as, as you may know, are often done with you laying down. And your, your goal really is to be as still as possible, right, to get these images. And so if you're someone that maybe has no pain laying down, but a lot of pain with stairs or with walking or with tennis, it may not give us all the information that we need, again, just because you're not moving, you're in your painless position. Whereas ultrasound evaluations allow us to actually move the joint while we're evaluating the soft tissue of your joint. I would completely agree, yeah. And you know the other thing too is it's real time. And yeah. I think what's helpful too is the person can actually see it and then you can compare like the good knee with the Absolutely. bad knee. So, you know, you can yeah. ask the patient, do you see a difference? The good knee, it opened up, you know, just a little bit. And then the bad knee, you know, it opens up a lot. Yeah. We actually stabilize people to get them more motion and people who are loose have less motion. You know, like in other words, when somebody's loose, they, the joint swells, yep. then they, you know, feel like they're stiff. Then we strengthen the ligaments, get rid of the joint swelling, then of course they have more, they get more motion. motion. Yeah. And also with that, one of the body's way of compensating for a loose or unstable joint is by tightening the muscles around it. Yeah, so true. if somebody does have a joint instability, all the muscles around it could could tighten and actually give them less motion, you know, because those muscles are protecting it. And as the ligament injury heals, the joint becomes stable and those muscles don't have to compensate as much, they can actually get more motion. When they come in with MRI, so we just looked at this MRI. Yeah. You know, good meniscus, good joint space, you know, no meniscus bone on bone. Like you could see, you could absolutely see the difference. Yeah. But there's clues in static MRIs that show you that the person has instability. Like yes. you have to determine, think about it, like what is it the difference between this side of the knee and that side of the knee? Like what caused this side of the knee to go, you know, where the yeah. meniscus isn't even there and then the, the yeah. cartilage isn't there. So there has to be something that broke down. So, you know, so obviously the thing that broke down is of course the weakest link, the, the, the structure in the knee that's the weakest that breaks down first which is of course is the ligaments right and especially on the medial knee or what we call like the inside part of the knee um, that medial collateral ligament or commonly called the mcl is a, a big culprit in that you know if you get any kind of laxity in that ligament you can easily start to over time wear down that medial meniscus wear down that medial cartilage uh, and if it goes on long enough to the point where you're bone on bone so we might see on the MRI, yes, there's you know less meniscus, less joint space, and then we want to know why. You know, you didn't just wake up one day and your body said, "All right, the heck with this, we're going to degenerate it." Why has this been happening? Yeah, why do you have point. pain there? And a really thorough ultrasound evaluation, testing the stability of the joint, gives us a lot of answers. Yeah, no, no, exactly. And the interesting thing too is modern medicine actually doesn't use the term instability a lot like a good example is you and i review a lot of mris and i had this today the person had two levels of anterolosesis so it's very common okay. you know with a neck or a lower back mri where the radiologist said that you have anterolosesis like in other words there's one vertebrae forward yep. slipped on another, but the person doesn't realize that's instability. Yeah. Like you actually have instability. So, and a good example is just a cabinet door. How can you tell if the hinges of that cabinet door are loose? Like, can you just look at it? No. Can you, can you, so, you know, obviously you have to move it. So why would that be any difference? Like, how can I know that that knee right there, it's stable or not stable? Like it would be impossible. So if I scan it without you moving, like, it, you're probably yeah. going to miss instability that might be there, so you actually have to move it. Absolutely.